oh, it's raining again. Well, that means only one thing. You've got to bilge watch my videos, guys, yeah? Check out the playlists. This video belongs to the Voyage Logs playlist. So this is another Voyage Log, a vlog. See, see what I've done there? Um, this time we are on the river with them and we're going to try and get from Boston back to Lincoln where I've already filmed a video. Click, click here for the video. It's, they don't do that anymore, I'm afraid. Should we have a look where, where we are? So, with them, river with them, river with them, the river with them. Try and say that 10 times fast after pub of the week. <laughs> here we are, Boston. Uh, we've got to try and make our way all the way to Lincoln. And this is going to be a two-parter. So this is it's quite, a, it's quite a journey. It's about 30, 35 miles, I think. Um, although it's all marked in kilometres. So it's about 50, 50 odd kilometres. Great at maths, aren't I? I'm so good at maths. Um, so you'll see markers along the way on this video um, to denote where we've, where we've come. Anyway, without further ado, let's crank it, guys. Oh. Right, so that's it. We're leaving Boston. Um, and the flow's a little bit tricky, so I've just waited until the tide has come, has come back in so that it's a lot easier to um, go back up the river. Sad to not be going on down the wash, but these things happen and um, maybe I'll come back with a better boat and in summer where I can really enjoy it. the first moorings you get to as you leave Boston uh, at Anton's Gout Lock and this is where you would drop down onto the River Witham's navigable drains and it's a system of waterways that's just north of Boston and there's a pub here called the Malcolm Arms it was not Right, we're just coming into Langrick Bridge now, and this is the only place where you can get boat supplies or to get a pump out. So uh, yeah, Langrick Bridge stores, guys. It's where you gotta come for a pump out. It's the only only place. So uh... <laughs> nice little mooring here, and it's only 150 a month. So um, yeah, it's pretty good, I think. And I've got me uh, logs. I've got my coal. And I've got some beer as well. Now, even if you don't need a pump out or any supplies, do stop here because it's a really nice place. And uh, across the way, we've got a restaurant called Witham and Blues. Genius. Today's one of those days that's just really nice and still and calm and this is what it's all about. And on this morning right now, there's no signal either, so I'm completely off grid <laughs> in a way. Yeah, it's just, it's lush. The river with them. Come here if you want to get away from it all. Another navigation that splits off the river with them is the Kaim O or Kaim U uh, navigation, which is only open in about April time. So, um, unfortunately, having recorded this video in March, I just missed out. Uh, but apparently, it's absolutely beautiful if you can get in there. Right, now as we come into land, that's right, land at Tattershall Bridge, 
I've got to tell you about these moorings. They're great for two reasons. One, they float up and down with the river levels. And two, they're normally next to a pub. Unfortunately, not pub of the week. Sorry. Well, as you can see, the visibility is not great today, so I'm going to take a little bike ride up to Tatashall Castle, which is just up this way. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, there was a road that went this way. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a dead end now. Oh, I've got to go on the main road, have I? What? Yep, these paths are pretty horrible, but here we are, we're at a medieval castle. Yay! Unfortunately, it's a Sunday and it's a bit early, so they're not open yet. But um, yeah, we still get quite a good view from here. It's all very gothic, quite spooky, hidden in the mist, love it. Back on the river, we are ready to take on the next section to try and get to Woodhall Spa. Um, this bit is starting to get really, really strong in terms of the flow of the water, but also really windy. So you're gonna have to just put up some more of my music uh, in the meantime. Coming up to the site of the old Hornchurch Canal. Um, yeah, it's it's not been active for a long time, but you could just about make out the uh, where it used to be. I did see a, quite a few small fish wash up dead recently. Um, because a local farm leached a lot of fertiliser into the water and just killed a lot of the aquatic life. So I think a lot of the, the I mean, it's wonderful for wildlife around here. You've, got, you've even got, um, apparently, um, terrapins and a hell of a lot of bird life. So if you like bird watching, you'll love it here. But yeah, wildlife and humans often doesn't mix. I've just checked online to, to find out any more information about the pollution incident and it was it was a farmer but there's not much detail attached to it so they think it's ammonia that's leached into this into the water course as they call it and um, right now they've got a boat apparently out in the uh, in the wash checking for ammonia levels there but oh it's just what a what a situation Behind me, we've got a nice little winding section. It's always always good because you don't know what's around the next corner, and yeah, it just provides a little break from the very straight river that the rhythm, the rhythm is the rhythm with the rhythm with the rhythm with the rhythm.
quite interesting with all these, um, well, they're, they're dikes um, originally built by the Dutch uh, that had been drafted in to, to create them. And there's a lot of Dutch style housing around, which is interesting as well. I know I talked about Boston and their problem with immigrants, but it seems like they've got a long history there and uh, it has benefited in some ways. Now for all you World War II fans, this is actually a really, really interesting area that we're coming up to now. Um, Woodall Spa, which is where the famous 617 Dam Busters Squadron uh, used to, well they'd have a base here and then they'd sort of come back, return, hit the Pertwood Hotel I think it is, and um, another local sort of officers messes and all that sort of stuff and you can apparently find that some of the names still scrawled into the to the woodwork because um, the people around here are very very proud of that history and if you're interested seek it out definitely being as this is more of a canal boat channel I'm not going to go into it there's tons of stuff on YouTube if you if you are if that's your sort of thing But regardless of whether or not you're into World War II history, there's still loads to do in Woodall Spa, so let's check it out. The slow motion montage. Yep, another non pub of the week. I'm really, really sorry, but this time there's no contenders to uh, even consider. But there was this amazing cinema, which was a complete ode to how cinemas used to be, how they should be, in my opinion. And perhaps the most striking thing about this cinema is not just the foyer, it is within the two rooms. If you go into number one, like this lady did, you might even see the organist playing during the interval. But unfortunately, because I like trashy science fiction films, I didn't get to see that. But what an amazing place. Definitely recommend the Kinema in the Woods, Woodall Spa. On the next episode in this Voyage Log series, we will continue up the river with them. But for now, keep cranking it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!